Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm so happy you're back. Today I'm gonna share with you my perfume wish list. Perfumes I would love to buy, but I will not because my collection is big at the moment and before I purchase any new fragrances, I wanna finish some bottles. So these are the fragrances that I will purchase once my bottles are finished. And I'm sure you wanna know what they are. Um, these are fragrances that I've tried recently or before that I am longing to have, but I have to be more reasonable because if I would buy every, I know that's not true, I'm very picky, but yeah, I will not just buy perfumes anymore just because I feel like it, because literally there's like 100 fragrances looking at me. No, that's a bit too much, that's a bit ex exaggerated, but yeah, you know what I mean. So starting off with Gucci, the voice of snake, voice of the snake, which I'm going to add all of the fragrances here is a gorgeous fragrance. I've actually smelt it in Florence uh, and I immediately fell in love. I really liked it. Um, I just thought that the price was a little bit overpriced, but um, as, as it's Gucci's private line, that has to be expected because designer private lines and exclusive lines tend to be very expensive. However, I really enjoyed the fragrance and it's a very me fragrance. If you know my taste by now, then you can probably imagine it's a very woody, woody fragrance. It, I think it does have saffron in it. So uh, generally speaking, when there are fragrances with the saffron note, they actually tend to really appeal to me. I found saffron to be an extremely interesting ingredient when it comes to fragrance because I feel like as a seasoning or spice it does taste, uh, it does smell completely different than in fragrances, but this is a gorgeous fragrance. Also not to my surprise, the creator of this fragrance actually has been Alberto Moridas and you all know that I love the brand Maison C, which is his own brand and I've talked to you about it frequently on my channel, but it is um, a gorgeous fragrance and definitely on the top of my list. The next fragrance is Versace Saint-Alboise. So Versace actually has a an exclusive line and I went to smell it a few weeks ago when I was in Zurich. And a lot of the fragrance, a lot of the fragrances that they have in their exclusive line actually remind me of other fragrances. There was one that was like my typical liking Vanilla Rouge, I think, something like that. And it reminded me of like Rose d'Arabi, these kind of fragrances, but it's very similar to what I already have. Then there was Saint Alboise, which I immediately liked. A beautiful fragrance, a stunning fragrance. Again, a very woody, ambery kind of fragrance that I love. I love fragrances that give me the uh, molecular touch a little bit, like something that's very woody, but still has like this expensiveness to it and it's definitely one of those. The fragrances are extremely expensive, like I'm not gonna lie, I think they're over $300, um, but it's so, so good. And I don't know the longevity of these fragrances, obviously, because I haven't had the chance to get a sample, but I, I love them. I actually really enjoyed them. Then the next fragrances on my list is um, another 13 Violet Labo. So I never had the chance to smell that fragrance, um, but I did a few days ago, no, last, last week actually, and I shouldn't have because I can cannot stop thinking about this fragrance. I really love it. I like, I really love it. I think if you love Gypsy Water, if you love if you love Santa 33, if you love Ember fragrances, if you love Monocent G, which is like a molecular fragrance, then you will love this. I, I think it's gorgeous. And what I also really like about Le Labo is that a lot of the fragrances that they have actually come in a body lotion. And, you know, I'm all about fragrance layering and I love to layer fragrances, especially, especially body lotions with the fragrance fragrances. And I really, really love this fragrance. So I think this is gonna be my next purchase. Like if I finish a bottle, I will get this one. Another one on my list is Nectar by Santa Aurelia, which you all know, I've talked to you before. It's a gorgeous fragrance for, for summer, a beautiful tropical fragrance. 
Um, I think it's one of my favorites. I tried it in Florence as well. I haven't purchased it yet, but um, when I smelled it, my immediate thought was I have to tell you about it because I know a lot of people love tropical fragrances that have like um, the feel to it of like coconut island kind of feel, but very luxurious, Côte d'Azur. This is exactly one of those, but I actually prefer this one. And I'm actually gonna put out a I'm actually gonna put out a summer fragrance video. I mean, a, um, what do you call it? Like more of a vacation kind of video um, because I'm sure all of us need one, but maybe this is out before this one. I'm not sure yet, but um, anyway, if it's out before I link it, if it's not out, you will see it. But yeah, um, this is a gorgeous fragrance and I definitely wanna get it in my collection. So then the last two on my list, um, because I'm very picky and I, if I would love, I mean, even if I would want to tell you about 10 fragrances, I probably couldn't because I'm just a very picky. I'm very picky when it comes to fragrances and there's like not a lot of that are on my wish list, but these two are as well. I mean, these are like the bottom of my wish list. Like if someone would take out like five, six fragrances of my collection would tell me you can choose anything you want. This, this is what I choose, but top three I've already mentioned. Um, also, I'm sorry if I play with my hair. I just did a blowout and I have a new hair tool and it's amazing. Like it's incredible. Um, if I've posted the video again, I link it. If I haven't, please make have a look up for, for it because y'all want to get your hands on it. I'm just telling you. Um, but yeah, the last two is, first of all, is Eau de Royale by um, Armani Privé, which I... I think it's amazing. It's Armani Privé did it again. That's probably not a new one, but they are just one of my favorite exclusive designer collections because they have amazing fragrances. It's a gorgeous oud fragrance. I cannot lie. Like when I smelled it, I was like taken back. I'm like, oh my god, this is gorgeous. Like wow. Um, I love oud fragrances. I tend to like them a little bit more when it's colder. I actually wore them a lot more when I was a little bit younger because I really loved, loved oud. I still love it. I wear it less. I wear it a lot when I combine and layer fragrances. But um, I have to tell you, this is a gorgeous oud fragrance. So if you love oud fragrances and you are looking for a new fragrance, I highly recommend you to check out Armani Privé. Um, it's Oud Royale. Also, all the fragrances are linked, by the way. If you are quicker than me and get my wishlist item, please let me know. Um, then the next fragrance, the last fragrance on the list, the last fragrance on the list is um, Oud Blanc, I think it's called, yeah, from Van Cleef and Arpels, which is a gorgeous Oud fragrance. Again, a fragrance that is very light on the skin, but still has a strength. And it's just beautiful. And Van Cleef do, does a beautiful job with perfumes. Unfortunately, I've told you before, Rose Velour was one of my favorites. Um, apparently it's discontinued. Some people say it's just been discontinued in some countries and places, but not in all, all of them. But um, yeah, it's a beautiful fragrance and um, I can definitely recommend it, especially if you're looking for a layer fragrance um, that has like some oud in it. I can really, really recommend it to you. And yeah, so this is my wish, li wish list for fragrances. You asked you ask me for it, you did. And I thought I'm gonna make a short video because I was like, wish list. Yeah, you know me, like I'm very picky um, and there's not a lot of fragrances that I'm like, I have to be honest with you, when I want something, I get it. Like I am not the type of person that waits, but I've changed, okay, people change. I've changed and I want to be more responsible and, you know, I also realized that the quicker I got the things, sorry, the quicker I got the things that I wanted, the less I appreciated them and I couldn't really enjoy it. And because I got so many fragrances in such a short time last year, I I didn't really appreciate it. Um, also, I fell madly in love with Peregrina, which I, I am still enjoying to the fullest. Um, I just want to make conscious spend like spending and i want to motivate you to do that as well but it's so important to treat yourself sometimes but as you can imagine doing this as a content creator i do have so many perfumes and perfumes go to waste as well and i don't want to be wasteful and i really want to enjoy my fragrances so that's why i created a bitch list that's on my phone that I'm waiting to get there and that's motivating me to use my fragrances that I already have. 
So that's it. I also wanted to thank you for all of your content suggestions on my Instagram. I really appreciate it and I appreciate you. I know I haven't been the most active. Um, but yeah, that's life and I will get to it a little bit more. But I love doing YouTube. I love connecting with you guys. So make sure you keep on watching my channel and also subscribe. Because a lot of people watch my videos, but they aren't actually subscribed. And I see you next time.